Hello and welcome to Pixel Aquarium. Today, I have an announcement to make. So, in my time of sharing and making pixel art, a lot of people have asked me if I'm eventually going to make a video game. And today, I would like to share with you the beginnings of my newest project. So, without further ado, I'd like to show you around Mola Quest. So, I've made several games in the past, but they've mostly been unfinished and, uh, you know, very simple affairs. Um, maybe I'll share some of those later down the line. I want to make a video about this game, you know, every couple of weeks as I progress on it, so there'll be lots to share and many videos coming about this in the future. Uh, but let's take a look at what I've got so far. So I'm using this game engine that I discovered recently called RPG Paper Maker, and it allows you to make sort of Pokemon style looking RPGs. Um, they're kind of 3D in that you, that you can sort of rotate around the sprites. They use mostly 2D sprites, but they sort of make them 3D. So I thought that was interesting and it sort of suits my style. So here we are. So, of course, since it's called Mola Quest, uh, it stars a Mola. Mola Tecta, I believe. The Hoodwinker Mola is the sunfish that I'm using. And so, I had this idea for this game where this sunfish goes on a quest to find all the other species of sunfish. And so, that idea sort of stuck in my head, and when I discovered this game engine, I was like, why don't I start making this game? As you can see, I'm reusing an old sprite I made of a sunfish. And I had to do a little bit to get it, you know, ready to be used in the game engine. Luckily, and this is completely by coincidence, it was the exact size that I needed for it to be included in the game. So, that's good. Otherwise, I would have had to start from scratch and fiddle around with the size a lot. And changing size in pixel art is quite difficult, and basically means starting from scratch. So, I got lucky. Anyway, so let's take a look at what I've done so far in the game. So, I created a, a sprite sheet for the landscape, and I've been playing around with, you know, ways to use pixel art sprites in 3D. So, you can see a bit of that in the landscape, and of course you can move around now in the game. That's of course sort of done automatically by the game engine. I don't really know how to code, so using these pre-built game engines makes it a little bit easier for me. I'm also testing out a dialogue system. I think I have footage of that. Let's see, I'm also testing out a dialogue system where you can talk to other NPC characters in the game, and so I'm working on that. I'm hoping to figure out how to do branching dialogue, because I like that sort of thing. Lots of choices and stuff, but we'll see if that's possible. I'm not sure how complex this game engine is. It's still in alpha or beta, I forget which, but it's not completely finished yet. So there are probably limitations. So I'm not sure exactly, you know, when this project is going to be finished or even if I'm going to finish it. You know, a lot of video game projects I start on end up not really going anywhere. But hopefully by forcing myself to make these videos and share progress on it, that'll, you know, keep me working on it as I go through the steps of making the game. And I'm looking forward to sharing future updates of this game with you all. My goal for next time is to have a second area in the game and have the player character be able to be transported there automatically. So, we'll see how that works out. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more about this game development process, uh, feel free to subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video is out.